what's up what's up people it's your boy mm2k of mm2k gaming cloud dosage in hard not digital culture and i'm back again with another video um this time around we're going to be talking about uh jazz gordon and this is a members video. I know it looks like that this is early bird special, but it's actually not. Uh, or I might put this on. It might, it might not look like early bird special. It might be the prognosis. It might be a member's first video. Um, but I want to thank you um, if you are a member watching this. Kind of like a crazy week. I um, had my work schedule changed, but then on top of that, some personal stuff happened. So it's messing with Monday and Tuesday. Um, and you know hopefully the rest of the week will be fine uh but then uh we'll, we'll see you know I, I, if things look good so far all right that being said um i'm recording this members first video yeah this is what this will be members first video i'm recording this members first video because i got a little bit of time in between my break and then later today cold blood and i we're going to finish out space marines 2 on the mm2k gaming streams channel so you definitely want to check that out so once you listen to this get ready around 1 p.m eastern standard time if you're a member or just simply go to mm2k gaming streams and look at our entire catalog of uh, the space marines 2 playthrough we're gonna have fun with that and hopefully this will be our last stream because i think we're pretty much done with that game um good experience overall but anyway something caught my eye and i i know you guys often come here to see me land based fanboys whether it be bots or ponies or whatever and i know mainly you know as of late i've been lambasting the, the bots off and on and it's not that i've been lambasting them more than just saying okay is silly season over yet are you guys done with silly season and can we really talk about what's happening with these two platforms like the purpose of this channel was to be a counter narrative to all the muck all the misinformation all the lies that were being told to consumers in bad faith and and actually counter in a counterproductive fashion negatively well that, that's that's a pile on in a negative fashion impacting their purchasing decisions we want to turn that trend around now what happened this generation is that there was a lot of blind optimism going into xbox people heard the things that xbox said they wanted to do and just listening to a company say hey these are the things that i want to do that's cool there's nothing wrong like if you listen to what xbox said that they wanted to do all that stuff sounds cool sounds awesome right except the stuff that they said they wanted to do versus the stuff that they were actually doing did not jive what am i talking about well, they told you they wanted to give you a 60 frames per second machine at 4k with the xbox series x and they were going to give you a 1440p 60 machine with the series s and they said it in a way that made it sound like that that was that was going to be how you interacted with the bulk of games on both consoles for both new and future games now there were rumors and talks that hey at some point in time the s would run into a bottleneck for that but that would be years down the road and when they came across that bottleneck that what xbox would do is xbox would then um make the games on the series s playable via x cloud then the series s would turn into a streaming box that was one of the things that was spoken of in regards to dealing with a possible series s bottleneck okay cool fine awesome 
Sounds great. Sounds like you got a great plan there. Nowhere were we told that the Series S would be a bottleneck as soon as we started focusing on current gen games or at the time next gen games but ninth generation games once we started focusing on triple a ninth generation games nowhere were we told that the series s would be a bottleneck at the beginning of the generation wasn't told us by microsoft we were told by devs there were even some influencers or content creators that tried to tell us in brad sam's and universally by the community and more importantly by other influencers and content creators in some cases journalists or bloggers whatever you however you feel you know whatever you identify with when you wake up that morning you those people were the ones that told the creators and the publish and the developers you're wrong you are not in the right lane with this the xbox series s is going how is so we had tom warren tell us what is playstation going to do when the xbox series s you know, at three hundred dollars, performs better. Like we 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 saw the tweets, right? Tom Warren will not own up to it. We we saw like this attempt the weekend prior to this particular recording that you're listening to. Now, we heard journalists and content creators try to come on and say, "Oh yeah, we have bad takes. We have crap takes." And people want to kill us for our crap takes. No. There's a difference between a take and what you formulate and cascade as insight. A take is, hey, look, in my opinion, ABC, XYZ. Pre-packaged insight, whether it's correct or not, is packaged in the way of that is not Microsoft's game plan, as we've heard from Paris or whatever. When you talk definitively as an insider, someone with connections, look, I know when you sat on Microsoft's stage and presented their items, then say stuff like this is not their game plan definitively, like you know what's going on, your words held a certain weight. So if they're not prefaced with, look, this is my take, this is my opinion, I can't see other, you know, me personally, I can't see it in a different way, I could be wrong. When you don't have all those suffixes or prefixes with what you're saying, and you talk definitively, you are packaging it as insight other than takes. So we had a bunch of badly faith insight shoved down your throats when these people definitively didn't know what they were talking about. That's the only definitive thing. They didn't know what they were talking about. And a lot of these people, I feel like they were doing it purposely because they thought that Microsoft would always come in and clean up their mess. They can come and do the wild tr accusations like um, Destin Legary with the hand chart, the infamous hand chart where he says, oh, I see Xbox and PlayStation here, but I see Xbox going up there, right? See that happening. You can say ridiculous things like that contrary to the facts because Xbox at some point in time is always going to do something to put out just enough red meat for the fanboys to in some six degrees of Kevin Bacon type of way, make it plausible, quote unquote, that maybe that can happen. They would always do enough. They would always just put out enough seasoning, enough broth 
for you to, to, to work with. They would always give content creators enough to work with in order to, to keep the charades up, right? So the, the, the content creators, including the aforementioned ones, they, all, they did that because they felt like that even when they were proven wrong by the facts, Microsoft would do enough to muddy the waters and say, well, I mean, I know that someone came out and said this, but maybe down the road, this is possible, right? So you can do the all the unfactual, hyperbole, red meat type stuff, and you can benefit from it as a creator. You did not have to do your homework. You did not have to stick to the facts. You could just sit there and again, throw out a bunch of sexy, unhealthy, uncooked red meat out there to the masses and just have them gobble it up and you be the benefactor. And what Microsoft has done in 2024 is they've officially stopped seasoning the broth. They said, look, we're in a situation now that we can no longer play the charades game anymore. And they've left a lot of these content creators that feasted off of the charades game. They left them out to dry. And so a lot of these creators for the sake of their brands have transitioned. They throw little pebbles out of hopes and stuff of Xbox still competing here and there, but they now know that there's a level they better not cross. So they, 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 they and they've learned that like early in the year when the whole slate quote unquote thing was happening and there was a big debate about it and then the the subject matter of this conversation jess gordon came out and and said infamously hey this is you know fanboy fiction or whatever it is or, or it's fanboy copium or whatever it's never going to happen and it ended up happening right once those revelations started to unravel themselves, that's when the aforementioned content, content creators realized that the gig was up. We can't just go out here and talk as reckless as we did. We got, we now got to, you know, use the facts as some type of guardrail. We're still going to try to, we're, we're, we're just going to transition into a salty state of where we, we, we hammer on PlayStation because that, that, that's the new rebound is I'm not gonna sit there and throw this overly, overtly optimistic stuff about Xbox because there's there's nothing to cling to, even aspirationally, to make this rhetoric plausible at all. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna double down on PlayStation hate. And that's what a lot of them have decided to do. And that's a w the way to try to maintain as much of the user base as you can and, and keep some semblance of a brand, right? Now, here's the problem with that. You still have people that are not willing to focus on reality. I mean, yeah, they, they appreciate the PlayStation 8, but you sold them on a pipe dream. So they're slowly converting to other channels, channels like ours, to where they're like, hold on, you guys were coming down the middle on this stuff. Yeah, you have your own personal biases as far as your own personal likes and dislikes. But regardless of that, you guys have always come down in the middle. You guys will at one moment kicking Phil's ribs and then the next moment kicking Herman Holt's ribs over stuff like Concord. Like maybe we are better suited instead of just digesting the red meat Maybe we need to go somewhere where they're cooking it a little. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe that is better for our health and our digestive system. And you guys are coming here. So those guys got their own problems they have to deal with. And they're just trying to claw on to you guys as much as they can. But that's a whole nother story. But then there, there are just a smidgen of people who still don't want to believe it. They still want to practice the fantasy of Xbox being competitive against PlayStation, and they're just gonna go down with the ship. They're gonna go down with the Titanic. They know no other way. They know no other pivot. They're just, they're just going down with the ship. And what it is, is they're being clipped 
because now what they're saying is, is more comical than ever based upon the facts that are now self-evident and you don't even have xbox trying to fight back against it they're like yeah the ponies are actually right now we're we're we're, we're, we're bending the knee and they're just going down with the ship and they're just surviving off of the the, the ridiculousness of their claims now because they don't know what else to do but then there's this third little sect of the xbox community is really only being held by one person <laughs> and that person crazily and unfortunately is jazz jazz gordon when all these revelations were coming out and you had content creators go to either hey look i better pivot and you know just reconcile with the fact that xbox bent the knee but i'm going to be a playstation hater that that you know i'm going to take those that again are solaced in the fact that hey maybe xbox has given up but we still hate playstation because that's the heart that's really at the heart of our appreciation of xbox is just our disdain for playstation or hey it was just so lucrative i, I really prefer playstation but i'm gonna pretend that i hate them you know because that's what gets me super chats you have that group that are just pivoting to playstation hate content and again you have those that are going down with the titanic but then you got jazz gordon in the middle who wants to continue this pro xbox in a competitive sense rhetoric but it's but still is expecting to be taken seriously and no one else is in this lane but him what am i talking about after all these revelations you still see jazz doing things like again try to murky the water of xbox going third party by bringing phil on for this interview where it's really misleading where phil comes on and he talks about how there's no plans for game pass going to other platforms and jazz trying to hype that up to make it seem like that's the that's a that's a uh, fathomable answer to his xbox going third party when that was just phil doing his atypical phil speak his double talk to try to deceive people kind of the same way he tried it at that the xbox business podcast where you know they asked you know is it, it, it what games are going to these other platforms well i i can't tell you that the games that are we're specifically working on now going to the other platforms it's not starfield it's not indiana jones right and you know that even though when you look when you break down the words and apply the english you know <laughs> the rules of the english language to it he's not technically saying that indiana jones and starfield are never coming but he says it in a way in which he knows implies to the average xbox consumer that they're not coming at all so people heard that they jumped out of their seats and see see this is fanboyism fanboyism fanboy copium but only find out that later indiana jones is coming admits all that and during that pocket of information you still again had jazz give the floor to phil spencer and allow him to come on to do his double speak when it when it came to oh there's no future platform plans for game pass right but then he fast you fast forward just a little bit and then again the xbox rhetoric train is flowing through jazz gordon right when it comes to wukong oh yeah there's there's some type of exclusive deal with wukong it's not it has nothing to do with technical problems at all and we break that down here i'm not going to get into all that because that's not the focus we break that all down and tell you exactly what is the most plausible in our minds especially when you got other people particularly special nick who has a lot more credibility than the people that are saying oh 
Yeah, they're, they're my, from someone in the know. Like we, we, we then had Paul Tassie for crying out loud, th- roped into this. And then we had Digital Foundry, who are tech specialists. They are not journalists. They do not know. How, they, they do not have a good track record in vetting journalistic type of stuff like this. Special Nick does. Jeff Grubb does. Jason Schreier does. None of the people with the particular groundwork to confirm this confirmed it. It's those that don't have the credibility that are saying this. That's not by coincidence. Microsoft knew to, who, who to approach. And again, one of the people that they approached to spread this rhetoric without the sufficient proof, again, was Jazz Gordon. And he let himself be a pincushion for this misinformation yet again. But it doesn't stop there. A couple weeks ago, he was on a podcast where he talked about and again, he talked about the whole slate coming, right? Now he tried to put out some technical pins out there to say, well, I wouldn't expect it. I wouldn't expect it. I don't expect it at, uh, you know, uh, Tokyo gang show. But again, like when Phil was at that business podcast and he said what he said, the way that he said it, even though technically, he didn't say that those games would never come to other platforms. And it sounds, it seems like that they are. And even though Jess Gordon technically said, I wouldn't expect Final Fantasy 7 and 16. He understands that when he used the term whole slate, how that would be digested by the gaming community. And he couldn't help himself, but put out that red meat. So when Tokyo Game Show happens, right? And Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster comes out there. Not Final Fantasy 16 or Final Fantasy 7. Even though those are the games that the Xbox community really want on the platform, not Pixel Remaster. That's good. I don't I feel like that's going to do horrible on the platform. It's not going to do anything for Game Pass because I think they released Day and Date and Game Pass. They're great additions. Don't get me wrong. They're great. But it, it's not going to land well with the consumer base in totality. When those games didn't come and it was Final Fantasy Pixel Master and some other Square Enix stuff, the Xbox fan base lashed out at Jazz. And then, of course, the PlayStation fan base lambasted them and clowned them. So you had some of his friends try to protect him. And... They made up excuses like these are bad takes, right? When it's not, again, it's not takes. As I said earlier in this, it's takes versus what you package as insight. Is how you speak definitively of it. And you have been doing this long enough to know you don't use terminology like whole slate. Whole slate resonates like stuff is coming immediately so even if the game isn't releasing there's an official announcement coming at the very least with a time frame and there's none of that and you know that in 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 culmination that you said what you said another content creator put it in their predictions and then lastly tom warren came out and suggested yeah people really want to watch this one right the thing that is on everybody's radar is again final fantasy 7 rebirth final fantasy 16. so when you don't even get an announcement even though it's whole slate of course you're gonna get land based it because you should have never used that terminology or you should never stepped on the landmine with tom warren and that other content creator who put it in their prediction And your friends tried to come out and say, oh, and there's people, they clip stuff, but you never came out and you never spoke against the clip. I saw you jazz responding to J-Dub. You, I can't wait until you're proven wrong. Wait till I'm right, right? Why don't you go to the pro Xbox person that put words in your mouth 
that you never corrected them from 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 my understanding now i, I could be you you could i i never seen a uh let's see here i've never seen a tweet we're gonna look at we're gonna check this out real time because i'm looking at this person's page and i even see where um they even have pinned something from uh special nick where he says that the, the final fantasy 7 is supposed to be coming you know what i mean so why wouldn't you correct them don't don't wait till after the fact to say oh well they they clipped something and what they clipped was wrong don't do that i can't find the tweet they might have deleted it yeah, let me see let me do something uh i'm gonna try this and i'm going to put this in there see if we can find something then let me see that's not it Let's see if we can find it uh, oh, can we find it no they, they may have deleted it they may have deleted it and that's okay oh hold on hold on i think i may have found it okay here it goes right here so for those of you that may not be aware when jazz's friends tried to defend him this weekend this is what they were talking about they were talking about this account zach and clute who regularly goes out there and misconstrues information to make possibilities of things look better for xbox and so they when i saw that they said that when i saw this tweet i said to myself this isn't what jazz said and i went back to listen to the podcast and i said jazz didn't say this jazz gordon via windows central reports that both final fantasy 7 remake and final fantasy 16 will debut on the xbox series x and s this tokyo game show days of sony exclusivity are over. he never said that so when i look and listen to the podcast i i i don't I, I'm, i've never seen this It says the director of Final Fantasy XIV declares we would like to release more games like this here. So let's go back to what he said. Jazz Gordon's most recent podcast on the live stream, he hinted that games like Final Fantasy VII um, and Final Fantasy XVI could be gearing up for an Xbox debut because Xbox executives are going to appear. They, they could be. But I... But, even this article wherever this was taken from it didn't even correctly convey what jazz gordon said jazz never said this he had to see this though because his friends mentioned it and trying to defend him so let's see if jazz even responds to this look and even and look they even he even clips what jazz said jazz did not say this hold on let's take a listen to this let's listen to this because i can't believe i'm defending jazz gordon here but i'm defending what he actually said to make a bigger point to show where jazz's negligence was because before we get to the bright spot of what jazz did today we got to go through we got to go through the muck and the mire and and and, and showing you the practices that we hope jazz doesn't repeat and we want him to show more of the practices that he he did today. Let's um, let's see what he says here. And by the way, if you've been waiting for Final Fantasy on Xbox, you might have some good news to look forward to. I think in the future, so stay tuned for that one. He just said in the future. Jazz never said Tokyo Game Show. So why is this dude Black Viking out here?
Look, and here's look, and here's something that look, let's let's check out this thread. This dude, Black Viking, is out here telling Jazz saying Jazz never he said could be, not will. Jazz was very specific when teasing on the podcast. He says, I love Jazz, but he's been saying for years now. Also, I'm hopeful that it's announced for 2025. He said, years? Jazz says, years? Come on. I never mentioned Final Fantasy until recently. That's true, Jazz. He says, in January, it was Xbox's aspirations, but we're getting closer to a reveal, in my opinion. And this dude, Clued, is like, he's like, Defending Jazz, who instead of responding to Clute, he responds to Black Viking, who Black Viking actually was trying to throw Jazz a lifeline. And instead of Jazz taking the lifeline, he sides with the person that misquoted him or just passing down the misquote. You can't make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. And I don't see any other, I don't see any other pushback from Jazz. The only pushback from Jazz. Let's, let's put this on the record. The only pushback from Jazz is when Black Viking actually came out there and tried to give Jazz a lifeline. He actually said, hey. Don't fall for this. There's no guarantee. And Clute was like, he was very specific. Instead of Jazz saying, hey, look. Okay, hold on, Black Viking. I did. I haven't been saying this for years, but more importantly, Clute, this article and this assumption that you're given where you're focused on Tokyo Game Show? It says here, Jess Corden reports that both Final Fantasy VII Remake will debut, not could, will debut. Jess is actually in this tweet trying to debunk somebody that's trying to throw him a lifeline instead of debunking the actual tweet that is missing. So this is why when these xbox zealots come out here and try to defend this dude when he's clearly wrong I, I, we don't pay it no freaking attention y'all can get all antsy and get in this bullshit and get all mad and, all, and, and make your videos we don't give a fuck the internet never goes away do not piss on my head and tell me it's fucking raining very clear and I was going to make this a curse free stream but I get tired of this bullshit it's very clear what the fuck is going on here let him stand on his own merits and, and understand what he did was wrong and it's, and we got but instead of me being just negative the entire video here we got proof that he might actually have done that. What am I talking about? Let's go here. I say here, I lament Jazz often as he deserves it for leaning more towards hyperbole than actual journalism slash fact dissemination. However, the tone of this article is spot on. No overextending fanboy read me. Realistic expectations soundly set. Still enthusiastic tone for fan base. And there's this article that he has right here. Let, let's show it. Where he says, we do want to release it on Xbox. Square Enix confirms Gold to bring Final Fantasy 16 to Xbox by Jazz Gordon. And I just want to take some excerpts from this. Where his byline is, look, we do want, he just used it as a quote. I think that's, that's a well enough title then he says final fantasy 16 could be hitting across to team green i think that's a more than fair assessment and then in this article there is no overarching bull crap like i said in the tweet no trying to push agendas just giving you the straight dope and even formulating it in a way that's still aspirational to xbox gamers but but stays attached to the facts 
right? Particularly saying things like, although it seems more like an aspirational plan right now, given the firm's growing pains as it moves towards multi-platform and making sure that he puts in quotes like this. So players should not give up in the terms of their hopes. This right here, my friends, is how Jazz properly threads the needle of being hopeful for Xbox. I'm, no one's telling Jazz to not be hopeful for Xbox, to maybe look at the info, even looking at the facts of Xbox actions in a more positive light than anybody else. Nobody's telling them, like for instance, one of my favorite uh, journalists that does that is Derek of Tweet Town. Derek, when he does this, he's very optimistic about Xbox. And I love what Derek does. I may not always side on his, his, his synopsis of what this means, but Derek puts out the facts. That's all you can ask. And then he delivers his own synopsis. This is more in that vein. Just put the facts out there and make sure you're giving a synopsis, your interpretation of what this could mean. Could is a very important word when you talk about Xbox because Xbox has a tendency as Jason Schreier alluded to and that was being reported to, reported that he said on a podcast, look, there's no other way to define it. As far as the direction that they wanna move in, Xbox is, is in a mess. You can like the product all you want, but as far as trying to firmly grasp on a path forward, they are in a mess. They don't, they're not sure what they want to do holistically. It's not just about adjusting to changes. They don't even know. They don't even know what the definitive movement for the brand is. Jason Schreier put it perfectly. They're in a mess. And you can like the results of the mess. Everybody, you know, a lot of us can appreciate a good sloppy Joe, <laughs> but a mess is a mess. And Xbox has a tendency of marketing things that they want to do versus things that they are going to actually do. So yeah, it's like, this is the direction you want to move in. This is what I like to see from Jazz. Again, Derek from Tweak Town does what needs to be done as far as giving you the facts first, then giving you his analysis, right? Like, I don't know if you guys have went out to go taste wine before, you know, they'll give you, you, you tell them what you want and then they'll give you suggestions on how you should quote unquote opine <laughs> you know what i'm saying swirl it and swish it like this you can do that or you can just gobble it straight whatever you want to do treat it like some mad dog 2020 and just gulp it down what you know what i mean but it's all suggestive and that's what we need right now the xbox community they're not all rabid fanboys this goes for jazz and anybody else they're not all rabid fanboys they are optimistic consumers that got brought in with all this rhetoric that Xbox promised. But again, Xbox has a problem delivering on their promises. They like marketing their ideas. You know what I mean? Um, and there are consumers that got caught up in all those marketed ideas. And so now they're trying to figure out which way is what they made sacrifices. They may have switched over to this platform because they believed in all these ideas, these marketed ideas, instead of having a true plausible vision, they didn't realize that they were putting their money done down on ideas. Um, not an actual game plan, not, 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 not something that was actually going to work the way that they wanted to work. So, I would be a little sensitive with them. I would be careful. Well, careful is probably a better word. Don't sell them on dreams more than they need to be sold. It has to be realized from jazz or anybody else who's looking to go from those other pillars that I talked to earlier, the PlayStation hate pillar, 
in the I'm going down with the Titanic pillar. Before you come back out in this lane to where you expect to be taken seriously, you know, you know broadly, but you're still throwing out this untethered and, and, and unvetted red meat. Think we're dealing with people that are on fragile plane, right? On a fragile plane right now. And if I don't want to completely lose them and thus lose my credibility, this is the stuff that I need to do. I need to be more forthright on whether this is something that is definitive commonly, definitively coming down the pike because I've seen all the vetted information that proves A, B, or C, or am I just, am I talking about a possibility? Same with Wukong. It, was I shown information or was I told something by somebody high up? Because people that are high up have nefarious, you know, have nefarious uh, um, agendas as well, right? Just because you're high up doesn't mean that you're to be believed totally. You still got to have proof. People need proof, right? So that's my thing. I, I, I give kudos where kudos is deserved, even though I may, I may not be the big, biggest Jess Gordon fan. I like to try to as, inspire, <laughs> um, you know, people moving in the right direction when they were moving in the wrong direction prior. Um, let's see how this goes. Let's see if this is like a change of the guard or if this was just a momentary blip and he goes back to red meat rhetoric jazz who is losing his credibility more and more by the day and your friends can't defend you which are if they're truly your friends they are going to set you aside and say hey look jazz if you don't want to destroy yourself as a creator because or as a contributor or a blog or whatever you are because xbox is going to be xbox they're going to do what they want to do and they could care less the end result for you after everything is said and done this is these are the guardrails you need to put up and maybe his friends did say it, or maybe he recognized it himself because this type of article amidst everything that he's been saying is a lot more measured and mild versus again, coming in here when you clearly have people that are misleading the public, you defending the person that's misleading the public instead of taking the lifeline that you should have taken from Black Viking, right? And Black Viking, as an Xbox enthusiast or zealot, whatever you want to call them, they're, they're, they're not the most forthright with their analysis or the things that they say in regards to Xbox. And even he tried to throw you a lifeline like, hold on. Even he was like, hold on, I touched the stove too much and my fingertips got burned. Jazz, slow down. Even he tried to do that. And you just kept rolling to 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 the four outside just kept moving into the weeds i'm only focusing on that to again as a reminder that's the wrong way don't go down that road go down this road all right that's it from your boy let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below like i always say here's what i think but if you did like what i had to say check out the links below to follow me it will lead you to Hard Knock Digital Culture, Cloud Dosage, and MM2K Gaming. But that's it. We appreciate everybody. Thanks, and have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.